Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is I only smelled these things after moving to America. Interesting. Very interesting title. Shout out to Lost in the Pond, by the way. Awesome channel. We'll remind you after this video to check him out. I'm gonna Please explain, don't do it. I'm going to explain why we're laughing in a second. Um, we did his sounds video, didn't we? We did. We, <laughs> we did his sounds video, yeah? Yeah. We did his sounds video a long time ago. Didn't realize I didn't, never saw that he did a smell video. <laughs> can, can you smell that? Oh, that's that's the smell of people like him. <laughs> it's the fact that we, before you press record, you practiced it. Honestly, right? We never what? we never practiced anything in our intros. No, no, no. I uh, wasn't. I had no part in that. No, 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 no. Literally, we never discuss anything in videos or anything like that. I normally throw a million under a bus just to give us some random curveball. But we thought of it. I thought of it, and I just went to my way. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask you what you can smell. <laughs> oh, oh, that was interesting. I'm not playing along with that. I don't get told what I'm gonna say. <laughs> but basically, smash that like button, guys. Smash that like button. We would so, so appreciate. It. Check out the movie channel as well because Airplay, really funny comedy, very old school but really really funny. It's on that channel now. It's uploaded. It's an awesome watch. We just premiered it, didn't we? Yeah. And maybe that's where I've got my giddiness from because <laughs> we just premiered it because I love watching it back. But we have got lots of fun today. Things only smelled in America after moving to America. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe like, I'm trying to think, like, oh, maybe some Texas bar. I don't know, but I hope it's like not, I don't know, like American grass. That's just BS. Yeah, that is a bit BS. Like, but if he says no. Texas barbecue, it's like, fair enough. Yeah, but he's not in Texas, so. But he's not in Texas. But I suppose it could be but Texas But I swear barbecue to God, things. if he says, I just smell treat, like American treat. <laughs> the trees are just not like, different well, trees. Obviously, because <laughs> the trees are all going to smell different. <laughs> I'm not having it. Are you ready? You got it. Oh, I I mind my earphones and my my earphone, my yeah, my earphone is in one thing. I'm <laughs> I'm giddy after watching Airplay. I'm so excited for the movie channel. Juice, I'm on orange juice as well. There you go. Mm. Right, are you ready? Yes. Things lost in the pond. Only smell after moving to America. What we got? You know, they say that America is a feast for the senses. Who says that? I just did. And because it is, I thought it would be interesting on the back of looking at sounds last week to talk about some of we the ways in which ago. America smells. Not necessarily bad. Some of it's good. So come with me on a quick walk while I smell you about them. Tell you about them. <laughs> you two, honestly. I'm not sure America I really acknowledged this one it. until I went back home in 2019 after not having been home in about 11 years. Because one of That's the first things time. that I noticed when I stepped off that plane and headed into Heathrow Airport, aside from the fact that my ears were about to explode, was that there was a disinfectant in use that I'd not smelled in those 11 years. And since I was a bit of a lazy kid when I lived in Britain, I couldn't even tell you what that disinfectant was. I just know it was quite different. Okay. And weirdly enough, when I visited Paris this year, I smelled that same smell. And it just got me thinking, maybe there's a European-America divide on how we clean stuff. It is a bit of a mystery though, because I looked this up and it looks like both countries use Lysol and Clorox. So I can only think that it's the fragrance that's added. Now I'm no expert on cleaning products. Clearly I sleep under trees. So if you've spent a fair amount of time in both countries, let me know in the comments below what you think that difference is, because I can't work it out. Let us know in the comments on that one, because I just feel like I could use an apple scented disinfectant and you could do a lavender one. But it would be different. And it would smell different, you know what I mean? And maybe the airports just get a cheaper one. I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you've experienced that. I personally haven't. I personally did not notice when we went to New York, JFK. I did not think, oh, it smells different. Yeah, I don't know. We love you lots, but you may be clutching there. Abercrombie, Abercrombie, Abercrombie Fitch. and Fitch. That is perfume. It's a shop. Is it, it's a, oh, it's a, a shop. Clothes shop. <laughs> maybe, maybe it smells different. It's like a Hollister. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Got it. I think Where's it, it was the this? philosopher Gandalf the Grey who said, if in doubt, always follow your nose. But clearly, Gandalf had never stood outside of Abercrombie and Fitch after lunch. Now, I should preface this entry by saying that Abercrombie and Fitch has cropped up in the UK since I left, meaning that we swapped one overwhelming force of nature for another. But it was definitely in America where I first experienced that distinctive smell. For those of you who don't oh, okay. really hang around shopping malls, Abercrombie and Fitch is a trendy clothing outlet with a really pungent smell. How can I describe it? It's horrible and is <laughs> wow. very much akin to the boys' locker room from when I was 14 years old. 
I don't mean that it smells of sweaty lads. I mean that it smells like their deodorant. So, you know, Lynx Africa or whatever the equivalent here is. Axe, okay. Axe deodorant. Oh, yeah, that's I don't the same, know if that's it? what it is, but that's what it yeah, smells like. Same. And honestly, I'm not kidding mm. when I say this. If I enter a shopping mall, which I only ever do if I've been blackmailed, and that smell is in the air, it's enough for me to leave whoever I'm with and walk home, even if it's across a motorway. It's so bad <laughs> that I've never been inside an Abercrombie and Fitch. And all told, I'm not sure I ever will. Wow. Look, this maybe maybe I I get, I that say. one makes more sense though because it was mainly a US shop, so we only mm -hmm. smelt that. The first one threw me off because that was like just comparing smells, but that makes sense because at the time it was only in America, so it was the first time he smelled it. I don't think it's actually even a shop shop here. I don't think it's I a never, store. I think no, it's that, maybe online. Potentially. I thought it was a perfume. I don't, I don't think it's a store. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Maybe, maybe some places, but let us know in the comments. I don't think. Because we have Hollister, but Hollister's not even a store. Hollis is a store. It's not an actual shop anymore. Like it, a physical shop. A metal hall. Not anymore. It was <laughs> literally when we were there a week and a half ago. I went, oh, it's Hollis, the dark room. <laughs> and there's always a queue outside for it. Are you sure? Yeah. But that's not the same brand, though, is it? No. No. Okay, Sam. But yeah, Literally, no. no. Hollis was definitely there, but it's not the same brand. But long-time fans of this channel will know that my nostrils are very attuned to the smell of cinnamon. And so for okay. those of you who are new to my channel, you will hear me reference this from time to time. And in my experience, Americans are less attuned to it. And there's a very good reason for that. And that's that the smell of cinnamon is everywhere. I mean, I don't smell it right now, mercifully. <laughs> that's but not they everywhere. Put it on just about everything. So if you're in the mood for dessert, the chances are you will get a waft of cinnamon at some oh, wow. point. Now for me, growing up in Britain, cinnamon existed. Right, it was a spice that we have. We just don't, we don't put it all over everything. It's all not the that time common, is it? Massive no. quantities. You know what the main common thing I know it from? The cinnamon challenge. Yeah, I, I, I hate cinnamon. I'm not a fan. It's a Christmas. I don't smell actually. To me. You know what? I don't think I mind it, but it's a Christmas. Yeah, Christmas smell definitely comes out more Christmas. Mm, doesn't like it? the candles and. Yeah, definitely. It's to be great. a favorite pastime of Americans, and I think the first time that I noticed this again was in a mall. Presumably I was still recovering from the nasally raucous onslaught of a certain clothing store, but this other shop <laughs> came into view, or whatever the smell equivalent is of the word view. And that shop was smell. called Auntie Anne's, which aside from selling cinnamon pretzel buns. stuff, yeah, had a strong rolls. odor of cinnamon. And it got me thinking, ooh, you know, Abercrombie and Fitch, Auntie Anne's, both A names. You're the type of company who feels you have to be at the start of the alphabet. You're probably also the sort of company that has to overcompensate with your smell. <laughs> so, you know, Apple smells like metal. It's not really. Audi, same as Apple. So there's a little bit of a flaw in my theory. <laughs> but in America, cinnamon is everywhere, especially what? at this time of year, because, you know, people are rolling out the apples and the pumpkins and all Halloween and makes things. sense. Do they feel... Yeah, that's just an American thing, like, can I have, um, from what I've seen, can I have cinnamon on my coffee? Like it's, a, it's so autumn, isn't cinnamon's, it? Yeah, autumn. Autumn. I do have to say, though, I think Lawrence is clutching at straws here. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm not that impressed. On this whole video as a whole. The sounds one were really good. I'm glad. That, I'm glad that it's not like, oh, this grass smells of America. <laughs> yeah. But also, I feel like it's clutching at times. It's clutching. Cinnamon. You smelt that before, though. Very true. Easy enough. So they have to put heaps and heaps of cinnamon into it, and that basically becomes America's de facto smell through to the new year. And my wife loves it. My wife's family loves it all americans love it and that's fine by me but you know what i'm a plain guy right i'm the sort of person who will even eat pasta without adding anything to it oh i'll do that Suggesting a bit of olive oil on it they can't see I'm me pointing at you <laughs> i don't feel the need to add stuff to stuff for it to be good I'll i do like adding bread, cheese though. on its own not a loaf a slice we do that we do that with butter on it as the year goes on this one is becoming less and Wait, less what was of a that? Thing. Yes, barbecue food. Okay, this one. As the year nice. goes on, this one is better becoming... because until we did these videos, I'd probably said that's the same as our barbecue. But now we've done the videos. That is a very good point, isn't it? it is. We need a bit of US barbecue Let's, in this. We'll see where he's going with it first. Yeah, we'll see where he's going. Less but... of a thing. But when I lived in Britain, we did have barbecues. It's just that they're not the same as they are in the United States. Okay. So for us, a barbecue is basically a catch-all term for what Americans would refer to as a cookout. But in America, barbecue can mean many different things depending on the region. But here in the Midwest, it has a very distinctive smell, right? And that smell is the smell of meat having been smoked, presumably covered in barbecue. 
barbecue sauce. Barbecue I do love the smell of a barbecue. It's not such a big in thing back in Britain. Yeah, it just smells so good. So the smell, especially if you're riding your bicycle on an empty stomach like I did yesterday, is amazing <laughs> to the point that I go high-pitched. In fact, I almost think that I the smell is better than the taste US. for yeah. the very reason that I am a plain man. And barbecue food, and especially barbecue sauce, is a very American thing. Yeah. You know what? Fair play. I will give him that one. Yeah. And I, I'm going to give him this next one as well. We don't have these animals. Because we don't have them, do we? And we've only ever seen one movers and they like, just get the backside up yeah. and spray. So you know what? He's recovered it. Launch fair play. <laughs> this one brings back some incredible memories because I remember during the first year of me living in the United States, there was this one time that my wife and I and a couple of her family members were in a car together. We're driving along and then all of a sudden I can smell this horrendous odour and everyone's really quiet and I'm sitting there thinking, Tara, is that, did your uncle just, that is, that's awful. But I was new to the family so I couldn't really say anything. <laughs> so I just sort of let it go. But you couldn't let it go because the smell was in the air for like a minute and it was it was worse than any body odor of a human anyway that i'd ever encountered but then mercifully the signal came the signal that always comes now in these circumstances somebody always has to point out oh skunk right, that's what they always say oh skunk and we don't have skunks oh i mean oh. <laughs> how did you know that some unless you've seen the skunk <laughs> Do not know how it launches out that whip. You know what I mean? You're like, oh. I'm going to need you to see it before you can claim it's that. I was expecting a whole, you see it run, you see it backside up, see it spray. You know yeah, what I mean? Like you can't just assume. <laughs> you it. can't just, everyone's going to call that. Skunk. <laughs> yeah, skunk. <laughs> yeah, the one person sitting there that's actually done it, so they're going to go, yes. Yeah, skunk. definitely. <laughs> In the Americas. And British viewers might be thinking, ooh, Lawrence, what makes skunks smell so bad? Well, according to Wikipedia, this is unreal. They are known for their ability to spray a liquid with a strong and pleasant scent from their anal glands. Wow. So that's how they smell Great. bad. But the question is, for an animal with a really good sense of smell, is why? And it turns out it's a defense mechanism. They do it to ward off potential predators Makes sense. as a kind yeah. of last minute desperate act of defense. And again, I've got to say, Fair imagine enough. if humans did this. I mean, some of us do when my wife's cousin Chad is in the vicinity, but you yeah, know, it might be Chad. That, yeah, it could we be Chad. have a sense of decorum. <laughs> I was reading as well that some people have oh, Chad. <laughs> as pets, which I suppose is fantastic if you have no sense of smell and you're an introvert. <laughs> so I'm halfway there. Thankfully, I have a cat. <laughs> That was good. It, it recovered towards the end, mm -hmm. didn't it? But I also think that someone in um, Tor's family is just laying with every time Lawrence is I there so. and just saying skunk. <laughs> Let us so. know your thoughts in the comments. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Good? It was good, yeah. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. And what should we do? Have a fantastic day. And we will see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.